Cool. Um, <laughs> everyone clear their throats? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number seven of our podcast. Um, Is it seven? Yeah, seven. The last one's number six. Um, but this is the seventh one. Um, Welcome. Uh, we've got me again, uh, Little Phantom, as uh, one of your hosts. You've got Neville over here. Say hello, Neville. Hello. We've got Shady back, returning back to the podcasts. Hello, 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 hello. And we have our lovely Night of Madness back. Hi. <laughs> Can't get rid of me. Night of Madness this week is on mobile, so he's not on a on a laptop this time. Uh, is there any chance you can uh, rotate your screen, or is that uh, fucked up for you? Uh... Or rotate your head so you're like sideways on. <laughs> if, you, if you turn uh, your phone this way, it I should go that. that way. How big's that full name, Phantom? Uh, there we go. Yay! Oh, no, turn it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason I'm on lap- not on laptop is... My headset does not work on the laptop. Me and uh, Saki tried it for the quiz, mm. and we spent half an hour, and it just would not work oh, whatsoever. Wow. Talking of the quiz, how did it go? Uh, it was quite good. It was a bit slow at times, and um, it was enjoyable, but um, it's just not a lot of people took part, which yeah. is a running theme, but I think that's just down to I should have helped publish it more because I was a bit distracted with stuff at home. Yeah. So it was good all in all, and what Saki designed was amazing, and I would hope to see his design redone in the future. Yeah, it was a really good idea. The, the format, I think, is going to work so well for more than just quizzes. Like, the Pictionary stuff he had, I think that could work for other events, mm. even if it's just a small weekend event, or maybe just a Pictionary quiz on its own. Maybe making the so, boxes smaller so there's more of them might make it last yeah. a little longer. Uh, I was thinking of using it for like an advent calendar sort of thing for yeah. around Christmas time. Sounds and then you good. could just each day has a question. It's like a little advent quiz that goes on for 24 days. Yeah, I, Joe, what I said this last year actually. Um, I can't remember who I was talking to about. And I was saying like behind each uh, window, so say you have 25 windows, behind each window is a question. The first person to answer the question gets a free game so if we had five 25 free games or something like that they could be cheap like really cheap games or whatever um but john may just someone gets something leading up to christmas every day but someone has to answer the question right to do it it's a pretty good idea to be fair what what if we um ask everyone to hand over their um (laughs) played an ages game that they have at home so, uh, so, so what you say, Shane, is we go to their door, we, we hold them up and we go, give us your games! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, yeah. If we anyone's got any spare sk- um, spare keys for games on PC, PlayStation, Xbox. Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe we yeah, can put was, together I, something. I thought simple. it was a quite, yeah, it was a good idea that we uh, took the numbers away from each box and you had to, like, mm-hmm. enough, work out what was behind it. So, yeah, it could be, it could be something good to use for yeah. I just hate the fact that I knew all the answers. <laughs> I wanted to take part. There are oh, there were so many questions because like I was in and out because I had my knee over, so I couldn't um, take part. Unfortunately, I fell asleep. Um, but <laughs> again, like in and out, I kept seeing some of the pictures. I was like, I know what that is, and then putting the wrong name down, and then seeing it, I was like, oh damn it! Why did I answer that so wrong? But. It, it, it went well from what I could see. And half of the Pictionaries he didn't tell me about, so I didn't even know what they were until I saw the pictures. So I was like, <laughs> I guess. I've not seen this one, but I don't know what it is. And then he wouldn't yeah. let me. It was good to see, because we had quite a few new new members um, taking part. Mm. From the yeah. World, of, uh, World of War side, came and joined yes, it, which was quite yes. fun. And talking of World of War, um, me and Shady were playing Minecraft uh, the other day on the R server, 
and I just had a look at Discord, and I was like, this is the most people I've seen in a voice chat in a while. Like, there was five or six people in the voice chat for WoW, and then there was three or four of us in the Minecraft voice voice chat. And I was like, this is amazing. Like, we're we're actually we're getting a good community here to actually come together and talk to each other while they play the game. They're not just playing the game and not talking to each other at all type thing. Yeah. Funny thing is to say, um, normally play on PlayStation. Uh, mm. So we, we create a, a PS party, of course. Of course. Um, for me, it was the well second time, I guess, or maybe third, that we uh, used Discord as uh, uh, a voice chat. Yeah. It works perfect. Oh, yeah. Very, yeah. very clear, very easy. Set it on the background and you're good to go. Mm, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> and I need to set that up for um show show um show hunt down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw someone in the chat the other day ask uh, ask about that game. I say I'm obviously like you've got to push to talk in the main game, and other players can hear you as chat. So a lot of people use Discord. Yeah, <clears throat> right. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. I guess in game you have to be next to each other though to talk, don't you? Hey, okay. in the game, do you have to be next to each other to talk? Like um, a proximity chat. No, you can talk to each other um, far apart, but other teams, depending how far they are, they can hear they can hear yeah. you like close up. But if they're far away, they can hear you like faint talking. Yeah. So, but yeah, I need to look into that because um, <laughs> you know I love Hunt Showdown. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm addicted to it now. <laughs> Addicted. 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 <laughs> oh dear. Um. Well, yeah. Um. On the wow, I've I've been talking to Saki a lot. He's been streaming uh World of Warcraft, and uh, I I don't get it. I don't get why he plays it. Him and Josh. It, it it looks like an okay game, but they've got to wait. He was saying so far they've had to wait like six hours <clears throat> just to play. Six hours? Six hours. Yeah. Because, sure. like, within the launch of the game, like, something like a million people signed up for the game. <clears throat> so there's a million people trying to get online at once. And Fuck I was like, that. Yeah, exactly. I said to Saki, I was like, when do you think this is going to, like, calm down? And he was like, oh, probably about a month, two months' time. It's a six hour wait to play the game for two months. No thank but, you. <laughs> but th- does that mean they, have, they don't have enough servers around to... Probably, uh, yeah. Probably. That's terrible, man. The question is, like, uh, how many have they got already? Because some businesses, they will buy loads of servers and then not fill them all and they're just wasting money on servers. Fair enough, but you can scale up, I guess. I guess, yeah. I think it's mainly the nostalgia feel because it's something that's changed so much since 2005. It's, I think I would happily wait six hours to play the first Assassin's Creed again on PlayStation mm. 4. Oh, no, I, I would, would happily. I would wait a couple months for it to die down first. Uh, yeah. I get too hyped with nostalgia. <laughs> six hours is the length. It so is I really do something else. Yeah, exactly. What, what, yeah. Did the, what did they do with the cells in them six hours? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because um, I believe Saki's actually taken time off work. He's booked holiday time to play, and I said to him, "You you could have gone to work while the game is queuing, yeah. got home, and you'd be ready to go in the server." I bet he had blisters on the right hands, like <laughs> refresh, refresh, refresh. Although he said that because um, apparently on the Monday, uh, the Monday or the Tuesday. He set his, he had to go into work just for that one day. He set the game onto queue, but when he come home, it crashed. Oh. I said to him, "You should have had you should have a remote on your phone so you could have controlled it from from work on your phone. No problem." Can you imagine the stress levels when he got home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would have been no. Mate, I I. <laughs> I've been there waiting for a game to release and it's taken hours. I would not sit there for six hours queuing. Just no, no I wouldn't. No. Stand at the screen. If um I don't know, um Call of Duty will take five minutes, I'll, I'll throw the disc away. Yeah. <laughs> Call of, that Call of Duty the weekend. Oh what a game. Is this oh, the yes. new Modern Warfare? Yeah. 
Aye. Oh, oh, did you guys come play? in October? Did you play? Yeah, I played it all weekend. I I was proper, you know. When once I get used to the maps a little bit, you know, because they're only like uh, like small maps, like gun game. Yeah. And um, just oh shit, there's my, hold on, my screen's gone off. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, it's so it's so fluent and um, responsive, and the graphics are amazing. Mm. I was the, the weapon the system. Hey, very good. Weapon but, system, as in but, uh, attachments and stuff. Good. It was good for what it is at the moment, but they'll tweak it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's about to be people not happy with something. But to me, it was like perfect. It was like I was getting kills right after like maybe an hour's play. I was getting yeah. kills right, left and centre, and I was like owning some like matches. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Large head. <laughs> <laughs> There's one feature that wasn't <laughs> in the game that's not in Modern Warfare any mo- in the new Modern Warfare <clears> that I never missed. That's the mini map. They've took the mini map out. No, completely. because the mini. I hate the mini map. That's what people, I mean. They've took it out. I guess you don't really need it. I play it when I play with people like oh god, hard team like hard like hardcore team deathmatch. People were like, oh, I need to play a normal team deathmatch because I need the map. Fook the map. Learn the map in your head. Yeah, exactly. I didn't think we needed it with the alpha. I think I spent more time looking at the actual map on screen, or different hiding spots, different right. where the enemy's going to be, instead you're of looking the, at the corner the all the time. Yeah, I think I played a lot mm-hmm. better without a mini map to stare at because mm-hmm. I was more focused on the gameplay and what was happening in my surroundings. But so yeah, I think it, it's it going to be a good to... idea. October, I can't wait. Yeah, so my two, my two, my two main games over the next few months are going to be playing will be Hunt Showdown, or no three, sorry, we'll be switching between Hunt Showdown and Sekiro. Is it Sekiro? Is how pronounced? Sekiro. And um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They're the three games I'm looking forward to playing. Yeah. yeah. The least favorite games I'm looking forward to playing is Minecraft. Um, Hi. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come and join us on Minecraft. There's oh, only one just... game I want this year. Don't say it. Don't you what? dare. Don't you what? dare. Can, can I guess? I'm keep going towards the mic. I'm just... Have Isn't a guess it? if you want. Oh, thank you very much. Nope. It's nope. the new medieval remaster. Ah. I, uh, I was going to played... guess Assassin's Creed, to be honest. I played Medieval a lot on PlayStation 1, and that was my go-to game after school and everything, and I've seen the remaster, and I can safely say it's one of the best remasters ever made. Everything's yeah. to the same detail, same voice actors for a lot <laughs> of the characters, nothing's changed, and it still has that weight behind the character. It's not as easy as most hack and slash, it still feels heavy and sluggish, like the original. Mm. Which was a lot better because you did feel like you were a bag of bones instead of just some superhero that could whack a sword around like no tomorrow. Plus, you yeah, get to I, use your right arm as a weapon, so that's quite fun. Yeah, cool. I've got a strong right arm, like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just oh, it. And a big head, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Very big head. <laughs> um, are you guys. Looking forward to the PlayStation games in the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, PS Plus. Oh, PlayStation. Sure. oh, for the player. Yeah, have you, have well, you seen what uh, they are? Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to stop you there. Yeah, go on. Right. Because on the Xbox One, I've got the season, the pass thing, you know what I mean? And yeah. um, the Devil May, Cry, Devil May Cry 5, the new one, for oh. free download. Okay. Fuck okay. that. Lord, yes. That's unfair. Blown out the water. That's unfair. I would kill to play that game. For free. Obviously, I'm paying like, you know, six, seven pounds a month. Oh, Devil May Cry 5. Devil May oh. Cry 5. Why can't I talk tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Devil May Cry 5. Free download. Oh, that's unfair. And I'm going to just download it this weekend and show it, you. It would be a very expensive free download for me, though. Why? I need to buy Xbox first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, Xbox Live. <clears throat> I have that already. 
Um, well, to be honest, guys, I've got a, I mean, a PlayStation. I pay for me thing on that door now. Yeah. Xbox, I pay for that, so I wouldn't have to start using the Xbox more. Like I yeah, said, I, I went well. out. I went. I went out to get that. Um, on Xbox, just so I can like use the Xbox more. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. That's going to be an epic game, that. It's, it's, I know it's supposed it's supposed to be rock hard as well. So, so I'm like, shall I stream it or not? Because I don't want to be stuck on bits for ages and people going bloody hell, he's shite. Yeah. Stream it so I can no. watch it. It's on my top ten list to buy for the PlayStation <laughs> Four. I'll stream it. I'm going to stream it um, tomorrow. I think. Have you guys seen what the watched. what the PlayStation? Not even yet. <laughs> Have you seen what the PlayStation September games are going to be? Uh, hell yes. Smell it. Oh, nice smell it. <laughs> Should have, I really want to play that game? It's on my it's on my wish list because I love the From Software games. Discs in the Xbox. <laughs> so sorry, they, sorry guys, you. sorry, sorry, I was getting over excited. <laughs> no, 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 no worries. No the, worries. the September PlayStation games are going to be uh, Batman, Arkham Knight, and Dark Side is free. Yeah. Um, I know that, there's a couple people in the uh, hive that like the uh, Batman series. It's it's funny. I I, I was um, uh, at work yesterday at a gig. Yeah. Um, and one of the colleagues um, <clears throat> explicitly said you need to download Batman game to September. Download, right. download, download, download. Who so can do I, the Who can do the best Batman impersonation? <laughs> who wants to go first? Does All it... you have to say is mm. I'm Batman, but in a Batman voice. <laughs> where's Where's Night gone? I'm still here. Oh, not like no way shady gone. He's putting his costume on. <laughs> uh, Has he got a mask? It's, no, it's, it's, so, it's so bad, man. Go on, Nate, you go first. <clears throat> oh, to be honest, I do it for my kids all the time. <laughs> go on, then. Come on, you should be a pirate. Yes, I'll go next. <laughs> Ooh. Do you want me to go next? Go, go on, then. Yeah. I'm Batman. Who's next? Go on, Shady, I'll go last. Go on. I'm Pepin. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm Batman. <gasps> oh, oh, you bloody I... bastards. You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Did he put a voice thing on? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, look, you look like a Robert. A what? A Robin. A Robin. A Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Catwoman. Uh, so what are we talking about? I, I could be Catwoman. <laughs> um, I'm I Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you uh, do play Dark Trip as well? The Darksiders? Uh, yeah. No, I don't think I've played it. No, me neither. Darksiders is epic. It's I'm one of the greatest hack and slashes I've played. What, what I've played it? one, two, and I'm dying to play three. When I heard THQ was making a, f- I nearly fell off my chair. Yeah, it's it's free next month. That's what I'm hyped for. Only Darksiders. Well, I played the Batman, and <laughs> Batman's it's an alright game. I still prefer Arkham City, so I'm just more hyped for Darksiders three. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Thunder what? Phoenix plays uh, Batman games. He'll be he'll be happy for that. It's a good game, like it's very solid and it's good gameplay. A bit repetitive after a while, but it's always good punching thugs in the face. <laughs> always good. I'll do that on GTA. <laughs> <laughs> um Nice. Uh yeah, I've, I've got to try out Darksiders. Um see what There's so like. many games to try out, it's like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm avoiding saying, oh, I'll try it. I'll try it because I, the chance that I probably won't. <laughs> so that's the thing I would love to, but the thing is, because like you said, there's so many. If you say, yeah. oh, I'll try it, you'd be like, oh, but I'm playing this one at the moment. I mm-hmm. haven't got time to play that. Well, uh, to be to be honest, I'm in um, some sort of period that I'm I'm lost in games or something. I'm not sure. That's what I, that's what I was like. But like I say, I. I, I but, I'm sorry I'm repeating the same name. You've been sick of it, but Hun Showdown made us go, <laughs> oh, what am I playing now? I just, uh, I'll play that for a bit. Uh, and then I was like, 
There you go. What's it? Jesus, this is good. So it's every now and then the game comes along that gets your that gets your attention, doesn't it? Yeah. So it took me a while and then I found that and I'm like, that's that's I've just been waiting for that. It's cool. Right. I don't know about you guys, but Devil's camera keeps lagging a little bit for me. And it's quite funny because I, I see his his camera of him sitting still and then the words coming out afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> for me, you're all lagging, so I think it's a connection thing. I think, I, do you know what, I think it's Discord because um, there's been a couple of times I've been in Discord chat on Minecraft and everyone keeps saying that they keep randomly getting disconnected and then reconnected or whatever. You're, you all look perfect to me. There's no... Slow, yeah. slow down and out. Thank you. I think Discord has its own little uh, connection issues. Oh? Yeah, he went gone. Everyone just disappeared, yeah. We're back now. <coughs> We're back, hey! <laughs> Don't so... badmouth Discord, that's what I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> For the people watching the podcast, right. sorry. <laughs> Everyone just blacked out for a second. Oh, um, Big Brother's watching. It was just you. <laughs> what, was it just me that just went black? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, the whole Discord went for me. Ah, well, we were still here. Oh, okay, well, uh, okay. Well, that's, no, that's Discord getting me back then. <laughs> yeah. <I guess>. yeah. <laughs> Don't insult Discord or <laughs> yeah, you're exactly. gone. <clears throat> um, so bringing up a game that we've brought up a few times, um, Destiny 2. Um, I know you've Ooh. been trying to recruit for it, uh, Knight. Uh, hey, yes, trying I to get some members. Um, but I found out an interesting thing uh, recently that Destiny, apart from it being shit, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> they're trying to copy um, the Battle Royale games by bringing in a Battle Pass. Um, it's... From what I've read on it, it's, it's not coming down too well. They're, they're making people pay something like ten dollars or something like that for the battle pass. Jesus Christ! How much more money do they want? Exactly. Yeah, but the the thing is, unlike most battle passes, and I know this from experience and playing tons of free games, including mobiles with battle passes, a lot of the paid stuff will never become part of the free stuff, and everything that's on the paid list of the first Battle Pass, which is Season of the Undying, is actually, except for one item, is earnable on the free pass. So there's so no point in e it. Either way, I think what they're trying to do is, because they're trying to get this extra pocket money to keep the lights on, to keep saying, and when you first get Shadow Keep, you get the first Season Pass free, which is Season of the Undying, for 10 weeks. And... What they're trying to say is, if you have a full-time job, you're a parent, or you come up from university, and you play the free pass, you're going to get the exotic gun, but you're going to get it later on. You're going to get the posh armor set, but later on. But if you want to jump in and pay us 10 bucks, you can get everything at day one. But, unlike most um, free-to-play games, you've got to do like daft challenges, like Apex, you've got to get 50 kills using a certain weapon to get XP for the battle pass. Everything you do in-game now gives you Battle Pass XP. So if you run a strike, you're going to get Battle Pass XP. You do a raid, you're going to get XP. So the the Battle Pass itself, which is like you're calling it, you're just going to get XP from doing day-to-day -day stuff you're always going to do. So I don't see what the issue with it is at the moment because it seems do. <clears throat> you don't need to pay for it. You use a really from good what I've studied. You use a really good expression there of um, we're doing it to try and keep the lights on. Now, the issue with that is Destiny itself is a £40 game because that's yeah. the normal price for any big game, right? But then you've got the DLCs. Now, most people go, you pay £40 for the game, you pay £30 for the season pass, and you get all the DLCs. With Destiny, they go £40 for the game, £30 for the season pass, £30 for this DLC, £30 for that DLC, and now they're paying an extra ten pound for a season pass. Quite um, big, uh, which is think... more money. If if they want to keep the lights on, then keep their mem uh, their players attracted by not spending money. Reduce the amount uh, of money they have to pay, and they might stay and play. I think the reason why they're doing that is I think they're trying to compensate because 
with Shadow Keep dropping, anybody can now play Destiny 2 for free, and you'll get uh, the Year One campaign, Curse of Osiris DLC, Warmind DLC, Gambit. Uh, you can explore the moon on do patrols and all that on the moon. You can do everything in the Dreaming City, but if you want to play the story, you only have to pay 20 quid for Forsaken, which will come with the annual pass for free. And then you have to pay, if you want, £10 for a season pass, but you don't have to have the season pass. So as of Shadowkeep, if 100 people join part of the free trial, they can pretty much ignore all the DLCs because they're already getting the year one DLCs for free, which is already... About sixty quid worth of DLCs for free. That's only a trial, you said. Uh, no, the new light in Shadowkeep is for everyone. It's a brand new thing. Yeah. That everyone, it's what they're doing is making it more a free-to-play game from now on. So if you join it, you'll hit seven fifty straight away, which is the soft cap now, and then you get year one campaign, and then year one and two DLCs. And pretty much anything that happens with Shadowkeep, you can explore the new location. You just can't do story. And the same with Forsaken. So if you want to do Forsaken story and Shadowkeep story, you only need to pay about 40 quid for them two DLCs. I'd rather cut me knob off with a rusty bread knife. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I agree want to do with that because It seems a lot of money they are pushing, and I do agree. But They are. I, I think that they are the most expensive game on the market. Um, it, you, like th there's people out there that will say, "Oh, yeah, but you spend a fortune on Fortnite or web but that that's cosmetics that is optional. <clears throat> like Destiny, if you want to play the DLCs with your friends, you have to pay extra. It's just so expensive. Like Call of Duty never had it that expensive with their DLCs and their their passes. <laughs> um, I just think that that's one of the reasons why they're losing such a big audience base is because of the way that <laughs> they're running their their game and their prices. I think yeah. as well, I think it's because they can't find the footing. They keep talking in the director's blog is they can't find the right distance between an RPG MMO and the other type of play base that players want. So even now, Destiny 2 doesn't have a true identity. Is it an MMO, MMO RPG or is it a looter shooter or is it something different? So they're trying everything every month to make an identity for itself and they still can't. Makes it sound like so, the developers themselves have lost track of what they're building. Exactly. I think, That's what I, think. I do. Yeah. I do personally think the half because when I played it um, before Forsaken, they made Forsaken too much like Destiny One, and you're going to make the game was up for three years before Forsaken. So yeah. that's a huge shift. And then how they're mm. shifting it for Shadowkeep is just making everything from the past obsolete. You is know it, why? Is it still an update for um, Destiny 2? So there is no Destiny 3 in making or something? Uh, yeah, apparently they just keep talking about that. Uh, it's going to go on. Destiny 2 is going to be a live action game until about 2021 at the latest. They're going to just keep pushing out seasonal content. It's because they've disappointed so many fans and they've tried to correct it so many times. They've just, the balls did up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I well, do agree. I, I am getting a bit stifled by it all. Like, my concern with um, the last DLC was the annual pass. You know, how's the annual pass going to work? Because they didn't explain. They just said, oh, you get four seasons, well, three seasons for 30 quid. And it's like, well, do you get to keep the stuff? And then now with the seasons, after a season ends, you lose all the seasonal activities and all the seasonal loot. Yeah. So you're basically losing a lot of stuff, but you might get the loot back in another pass in a few months. Now, I said this in, I think it was the first or second uh, podcast, that Destiny 2, to me, does, it is a continuation of, of Destiny 1, obviously. But mm -hmm. it to me, the game felt like just an, a DLC added on. That's how Destiny 2 felt like to me. But an overpriced DLC. And <clears throat> I don't... They should have either, for Destiny 2, changed it up quite a lot, or just released it as a DLC to Destiny 1, and um, but brought the price down or something. I don't know. It just to me, it just it didn't didn't feel like a completely different game at all. It felt like the exact same thing, repeating mm. itself over and over. It could, it could be an a action uh, of our um, um, studios changed, of course. So maybe there is. Uh, <clears throat> 
very yeah. difficulty to maintain and um, build forward to it, I guess. Yeah, you're right, because someone pulled out, didn't they? Who was it? Bun? No, one Bungie. Yeah, Activision. Bungie. Activision. Activision, that was it. Nice, Activision yeah. pulled out, and it's just Bungie now, isn't it? On their own. Yeah, so they're just yeah. trying to get everything sorted, but <clears throat> I'm not going to be rude. I don't think it helps that a lot of the fan base that I've known are so picky with the game anyways, you know. Yeah. They want they complain about snipers, for example, being too OP in PvP. So Bungie are like, do you want us to nerf them? We'll nerf them for years, you know, make them less OP. Oh my god, you've nerfed them, now they're not OP. It's kinda of like, well, you can't say that they're OP and then complain they're not OP anymore. Yeah. You've got to have that middle ground. Yeah, I, I guess you have that in every game, right? Do, um, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Call of Duty, same thing. And they're probably more. The whole thing is you can't please everyone. No. And um... yeah, Fortnite does that. Fortnite brings out a new weapon, but they make it purposely OP, and then they, they buff it down, and then everyone's happy with how it is because they want everyone to see it being too powerful. So they buff it down and then everyone's fine with how it is. So. And then they vault it and then people complain it's been vaulted. <laughs> yeah, because they're bringing out, because the, the, the reason why they vault weapons is because otherwise you'll have a hundred weapons on the map. You don't want to yeah. have weapons. Because so they're, they're in beta, the they're vault. still testing out weapons. Um, <clears throat> but It's a strategic, strategic choice, I guess, in that case. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is for some good. I mean, as I said, for, for Destiny, for me, it just feels like it's it's they've the developers have lost their love and their their sight of what their game is, and they're trying to get that sight back the wrong way. Instead of looking towards the the players, they want to sit back and look about how they were developing it in the first place, what their reason was for developing the game, what their story is, and why they want to do what they want to. Do. Not what the players want, what they want for the players will enjoy. That makes sense. Hmm. I think with Shadowkeep, only time can tell because I've seen a lot of the stuff they're adding, and I am impressed with everything they're doing with the new seasons Sorry. and the new and the way they're building the characters and they're leaning more into the MMO RPG, which <clears throat> MMO RPGs are quite successful in places. Yeah. So. And the idea of having a new story for every season, you know, like how Fortnite does, does seem good because sometimes there's two stale stories, you know, stories just repeated. So if there's a new story every season continued, but we as a community change how the story starts. Like um, the Last Wish raid for Forsaken was kicked off by the community. They yeah. did something to start it. So I think that's a nice little way, you know, we do something in the season of dying that sets off season of the dawn and so on. So only time we can tell, but I'm supportive so far to see how far it goes. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Does anybody want to hear my joke? Go for it. Go on then. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Bring it on. I tried to catch some fog last week. Missed. <laughs> oh, he had a drum as well. God. <laughs> I'm leaving. That's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Neville. Mm -hmm. God. Are you uh, really uh, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just want to check. Oh. <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible. <laughs> I, I do have a absolutely a, crazy. I love everything. I do have a, a slightly funny subject to talk about, though. Um, I don't know how much I don't know how much you guys keep up with this, or, or how much love you have for this. So the uh, the Marvel universe. Do you guys watch Marvel? Keep up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with it, yeah. So you guys all know Deadpool. Um, yeah, what not, his, not his personally. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what his character's famous for? Like talking to the camera when you shouldn't do, swearing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. Um, well, I don't know if you know, but Disney owned the rights to Deadpool. 
school. Yeah. Um, and Disney have been talking about for the last year or so about making their own uh, streaming platform, but like to to go competitive with stuff like Netflix and and Amazon Prime and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so on this streaming platform, they're going to be putting all their Marvel films and TV shows. However. They want their streaming platform to be a PG-13 only platform. <laughs> Where does Deadpool yeah, fit in uh, this? Yeah, they tried that PG-13 of Deadpool 2, I think it was, and that film bombed. Nobody wants a PG Deadpool, everyone wants an R-rated Deadpool. Deadpool 2 wasn't, wasn't yeah. PG. Uh, no, they did a cancer version, I think it was, uh, oh, they made it yeah. PG. For, and then any money from the PG-13 film went straight to a cancer charity. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Reynolds uh, made it so it was possible. And nobody liked it because it missed out so many of the decent puns. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, it's Deadpool. He can't be PG. He just can't be. The comics were never yeah. written that way for him. No one will understand him being PG. Um, But... Could you just imagine, though, like, the whole of this PG-13 site, and then just Deadpool somewhere in the bottom, like... Is <laughs> our, is our podcast PG? No. Motherfuckers. <laughs> it's totally fucking PG, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, if you beep those things out, then we are. Yeah. <laughs> but... You can try that. That should be funny. But what, what are your Boxing. guys' thoughts on, uh, on Disney... Making a PG thirteen site. That's just stupid, isn't it? It yeah. just it yeah. just um it restricts them so much. The reason Netflix and all the other things are doing so well is because they're, they're pushing the boundaries, you know what I mean? They give them what the people want. So mm-hmm. Disney just wow. But although I do like the new Star Wars trailer by Disney. What's it called? Mandalorian or something. Ah, something like that. I was impressed with that. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but um, I watched that and I was like, "Mm, I was doing this with my chin. (laughs) That looks good. I I don't don't know how true this is. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. But I heard somewhere that they're going to remake a lot of their films, like um, 101 Dalmatians. In, In that film, you've got Quella Deville, and she smokes. Um, and they think that smoking, obviously, is a, a bad sign to send to kids. So they're going to remake the film with Quilla Deville not smoking. In the fish, Jared. <laughs> Shady's just I like, just, hey. I just realised we've got a four-stage um, beard growth going on here. Night's got no beard. I've got a bit of stubble. Shady's got... <laughs> More of a beard, and then Phantom's got a full beard, and it's like a four stage um, beard group. Nice, nice. I've just done a shave to be honest. I had paint in it. Yeah, but paint in it. Yeah, paint I, just, um, I just use like a bow knife or something to have a shave. No, <laughs> a no, um, no, shaving, fo- no shaving form, just. Hmm. Look at a bone knife. Has, uh, did your daughter ever finish the forest? The forest. Yeah, your daughter was streaming it, wasn't she? Becky, no, she is. Um, she hasn't been over to. Actually, she. You can get on the PS4, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to tell her because she really enjoyed it. I got bored. Yeah. If you don't keep up on the story, it can get a bit boring that game. Mm. I should stick a chop and trees down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Even That's that could be after the hundredth tree, I was like, "Who cares? I'm gonna pay some bills." Yeah, it's like Minecraft. You're always chopping no. down trees. No, it's not uh, worse than Minecraft. I'm not a, I'm not a tree chopper downer. <laughs> Ch- Shady's been on it's... Minecraft quite a bit recently. If I read the instructions in the back and say you chop trees down, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not buying. I'm not... <laughs> uh, I've, I've played eight hours of Minecraft so far in the server. Yeah, he already has an epic house. What else thinks to me? <laughs> nah, not me. I think we're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. You have a yeah, very yeah, modern yeah. looking house. Very modern looking house. Thanks again. 
Ah, uh, so it's so, so alright, dude. I, I I built you a pool <laughs> outside it today. Serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. You need to log in. Come and see it. <laughs> come and see it. Why oh, not? No, this this is why, uh, the reason you you're gonna tease me with new items in the game, and then <laughs> I, I might come online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, gonna be like, oh, shady, have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. We'll have to take loads and loads of screenshots and Neville will come and join and go, oh, I want to do that. Well, well, Jess is over now, my youngest. So I've, hence why, I, hence why I got this on the Xbox, because if I'd got it on the PS4, she's got me PS4 in, in her room, right? Because she's in the other room now. I've took over her original room, now she's got the other room. Yeah. So she's got the PS4. She doesn't play Minecraft. Guess is what this... she plays? I'll What's give that? each one of you a guess what game she plays. Fortnite. No. Call of No. Come on, I think. Red Dead Redemption? Yes. Hey, nice. All right. Of course. Uh, is yeah. this the daughter you were streaming the other day with um, yeah. the, the fighting game? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. It's the youngest so, one. That, that yeah, was that's your, the youngest I. Your daughter you kept forgetting the name of, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just called her Abby. T I just called her Abby earlier on, and she goes, "I'm not called Abby." <laughs> Brilliant. <I'm> like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh, so nice. yeah, so she's got me PS4. So blah blah blah. Get it back. Uh, Install no, Ark. I don't Install need... Ark and come oh. back online. You have to. You have to get her on Minecraft or something. She won't play it. <laughs> why get her on Minecraft if she's not going to play? Well, because I've said, why don't you play Minecraft? She goes, no, it's for kids. <laughs> <laughs> you should play it and then find out. <laughs> yeah, she still feels the same. We are still. She's concerned. played it already. All oh, right. Just push it first, and um, punch it, um, and punch it down. I've got that on my head. <laughs> um, she's playing um, Red Dead Redemption because she likes horses as well, so she likes... Um, I remember the first time she played Red Dead Redemption on the PS3, she was um, obviously a lot younger. And yeah. I was like, um, Dad, can I play Red Dead Redemption? Because I just want to play around the horses. I was like, yeah, yeah, but what harm can you... And I came in and she was like, dragging people with lassoes across the <laughs> And you know, all that and stabbing people. I'm like, no, 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 just you were just gonna say you play with the horses. So I was like, Jesus, because she knows why not? Why not? Why not? So my kids don't go near the PlayStation, dragging <clears throat> the poor poo fellow across the grass. And I say, like, <laughs> <clears throat> why not? Why not? It's, it's the same thing as uh, our daughter, uh, is really like to play Ark, mm. uh, as it. As far as it goes to building, it's all fine. But when the dinos came on, uh, she's pretty scared, though. So, oh, that's she's five. Come on, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> get get uh, a little dodo bird. Should be fine with that. Yeah, maybe Pixar. Yeah, <gasps> Pixar looks fun. My kids don't really see me on the PlayStation unless it's my youngest, who's eleven month. He watches me on Destiny, and that's about it. <laughs> you went, you went a bit green there, um, night. Right, one sec, I need to go put my light on, so he's gonna just, like follow me. I, I thought you were getting angry. We're vlogging, no, get vlogging now it. with night. Ah, right, right, light. Light. right, light. <laughs> Look, I got a halo above your head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's better. Oh, just... Just trying to hide all my kids' toys. There we go. Sorry. So, while we're on the subject of uh, kids playing games and stuff, um, there's been a big, a lot of controversy at the moment in the uh, community about uh, gambling uh, within games. And uh, what I mean by this is like games like PUBG, uh, Fortnite. Uh, I think Call of Duty has had something similar to it. Um, where they have like loot crates in the game and um, you pay in-game currency but obviously sometimes you might have to use your own real money to get the in-game currency to open up these crates um, and considering you don't know whether you're going to get a 
gold tier item oh, or geez. a green tier item out of this crate, you might not be getting your money's worth or like because you don't know what it's going to be, you're, you're gambling the chance of getting a really good item to a really crap item. Um, what is your thoughts on gambling see in this, a game? You see this game? Yeah. Road Rash, yeah. Yeah. This is when gaming was gaming. No buying this, no buying that. You got the game. You even got instructions as well. Then <laughs> you, pay for the, you get food call in the ones today. But yeah. Right, you open it up, you get the cartridge, right? Yeah. You get a big book of instructions, right? You don't have to pay for extras or nothing. An amazing game. Absolutely amazing game. Thank All you, you get in games today is the box, the disc, and that's it. And then, and then all the add-ons in the game. And then the add-ons you've got to pay for. It's all about money, isn't it? I know, I know these yeah. make money when they sell them, but it's just ridiculous now. It's getting out of hand. Yeah, yeah. but uh, the, the, the weird thing um, is you told me that um, uh, Holland, where I live, is, is one of the countries who, who blocked it. Yeah, yeah. So Belgium and um, the Netherlands uh, or Holland. That has... is so weird because um, uh, this afternoon I've I've played um, Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, it's still in. Yeah. So what? What it might be is um, so um, what Belgium and Holland slash Netherlands has blocked is. The, the idea of the gambling of the fact that you don't know what you might be getting. Mm -hmm. So what what games are trying to do to combat that is they have what they call a see-through box. So it's a loot crate, yeah, but it exactly. says underneath it, you can get out of this crate two gold, say two gold weapons, uh, three green skins or a grey whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And if it tells you the possibility of you getting this, you getting that, you getting this, it's not classed as gambling. Because you know what you'll be getting out of it, uh, or what kind of type you'll be getting out of it. So they're describing the the content that you get for a amount of money. But is it is yeah. it not like it's still kind of a gamble? Because what if you get stuff you've already got? Yeah, exactly, that's still that's still a gamble. But it's because it's telling you what you might get. It's class is not gambling. But. I just think they're trying to emulate real life. People, of course they are. Like for example, for example, my kid went to B and M's the other day, and he picked up a four pound M, and he had one in a six chance of a different figure. To me, B and M's is, that's is a big shop. It's a big shop. Um, shady. Ah, um, so, yeah, 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 so I just shop. kind of think if kids yeah, can do it in real life, out of games, you know, buy little toy eggs for like four pound, and that's gambling themselves because no one's going to get. I think it's not new for developers to do it in games. They're just trying to copy what toy yeah, makers do now. Do, I, do you want to put that into put that gambling look into the kids? Like, if they're well, happy to gamble some money away on a game that they're really invested in, um, would they would they be the same as going to poker every night, uh, every week, and and putting a couple thousand away or whatever? That's insane. Well, it's why like. I don't want my, it's my personal opinion, I don't want my kids gambling with little crappy toy eggs at five pound or in-game yeah. items. I don't do it myself. I refuse to buy loot boxes. If I get them free in-game, that's fine, but I refuse to buy them because I just don't really see the point. Like, I refuse to get, if my kids start gaming, I ain't giving them cash for loot boxes. If at, you can't, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? You spend all that money on a game and get all the, the, the skins and get whatever else. But in another like years time that game's gonna be just not played anymore and all that money's being yeah. spent on it, so what's Agreed. the point there? Agreed. In a year's time it's just gonna be a technology function just sitting there yeah. doing nothing. So Is this uh, the the same um Thing with uh, microtransactions, or is mm -hmm. this something a part of? I mean, yeah. yeah, it's the same because you're you're having to make a microtransaction to buy the loot crate. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's that's the thing. That's one of the things I talk about because kids are, are getting to a point where, um, they want to go and get their their mum and dad's credit card. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
to buy some of these loot crates. That's that's a uh, the whole thing, I guess. Um, is a modern age issue. Yep. Uh, well, put it, if, put it if this you, way: if you look back ten years ago, you never heard of Microsoft. No. Because no, it's all exactly. about money. It's all, they, they, they're just greedy. They're just like you're paying for like someone for a bit of clothing. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, two, yeah. three quid for a, for like a top, and you're like, it's not even real. But anyway, it's uh, put it this way, right? I've got a friend of mine. Um, his son got about fifty quid towards his birthday. Yeah, mm -hmm. guess what he wanted to pay the um, buy the fifty quid on. Fortnite stuff. For, Fortnite stuff. He spent fifty quid of his birthday money on, on skins Fortnite. and stuff. Yeah, I know someone who's done the same. That's all he wanted, though. He said, "I, I don't know what to do." He's just like, he's, you know, that's what he wants. He doesn't want anything else. He just wants to say, "Well, I guess he, if that's what he wants, you got to give him it." Eh? My my niece so. done the same. My niece, um, she done some uh, like housework stuff, and her. Pocket money was. Um, her dad said to her, "What? What do you want with it?" And she said, "I want the battle pass in Fortnite." So he got her the battle pass in Fortnite with her pocket money. You know, because that's that's the only thing she wanted. I was like, "Come on, you could have got so much more with that that money." But you know it's I mean? mobile phone games as well. It's not just like consoles. It's all. I mean, oh, I it's think um, it's my daughter, my daughter so, Jess, she spent about sixty quid. Um, through because obviously I had my card details on the phone, and she spent about sixty quid oh. on a game. So I, I got a message and email saying, oh, "Thank you for your purchase, sixty quid." Now, oh. what the fuck? So I basically had to phone them up and say, hey, "Come on, it was me daughter mucking about on the phone. You can, I want it back. I got it back, but it's just that easy." Yeah. Did, did you get it back? Oh, I got it back. I. So some companies do. Some companies have a couple day policy where, um, in case your kids do that, yeah, yeah claim it back. Um, because I I had a small issue like that. someone hacked my Fortnite account, um, on the first couple months of having the game, and they were able to spend like a hundred and sixty quid of my money, um, in the game, and I I contacted um Epic Games and PayPal. PayPal replied back to me saying, nope, sorry, we're not doing nothing about it. Um, didn't hear back from Epic, so I went down to the bank, and the bank just went, yeah, here's your money back. <laughs> I was okay. like, sweet. Like They didn't need proof or anything. They were just like, here's your money back. We can see the transactions have come out of your account. Uh, yeah. You said that wasn't supposed to happen, so we just refunded it for you. Um, so I was like, that, that was good. I, I had to change my passwords and, and stuff on my Epic Games account and all that, but... <clears throat> Um, but so this is your thoughts on, on the gambling side of it, it as itself. What's your thoughts on the developers and the way they introduce this to make it look appealing to it's who they know as kids? What do what do you think about the developers? It is freaking clever. Sure, they can. Yeah, but it's it's. Um, I think it's not good for the um, for everyone. You know, it's. Um, Stealing money, sneaky out of your pockets. Yeah. Well, you've you've already got people addicted to games, right? Yeah. So they, they use that addiction, and then they just, you know, that the, the play on it. They're kind of like, if you're sucked in, into a game, and you know, or you, they give you stuff. The the kind of give you a little bit of stuff at the start, but they just put things out of reach, hmm. and you know you want that, and you want that. You know what I mean? I mean, I've been there as well. I've kind of. God, I really need that skin. I really need that gun. And also, what they do is, other players seem to like when they're using certain weapons. You see the replays. You know when they do replays in games, yeah. and you see them using that gun. You're like, that gun's awesome. I have to have that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Deliberately, so oh, you yeah. see what they're using. So you're like, I've got to get that gun. But I, I, God, I would yeah. have to like level up a hundred or something like that. I'll have to buy it. What yeah. gets me is games have a lot of power. Um, in the fact that where they have so many kids uh, uh, and people like us who play these games, um, obviously we get to a point where we go, like you said, I, I like that, I see that, I want it. Great why, I mean, it's there for another reason. Why don't these developers use the power of their games to do something better with, like teaching better with our kids? 
Um, I know certain games like Assassin's Creed and that, where they um, insert the history, they're actually teaching kids history without kids realizing it. Because while they're playing, it's real history and stuff that they could be learning. There's stuff like Fortnite and that, where they're just like, come and buy this, or sneak this in, come and buy this, do that. Or like the recent game that has been on the news is 2K20, which is uh, NBA uh, basketball in America. Um, I can't play stuff like that. They've introduced oh. their loot crate um, box, but the way they've introduced their crate, and they've done an advert for it, was uh, slots. Like you're at a casino. So casino you, pull, you pull down, and if you get the free in the line, bing, 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 oh. you get your loot crate. Thanks, how are you making your arms go all the way around where the curtains are? <laughs> <laughs> That's my partner. Do you want um, to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like, arms right like, over here, like, what the hell? I think, uh, on about the developers, I think what they're doing with a lot of games <clears throat> is something I've talked to my partner about in the past, is for games like Fortnite, they make them big and flashy and colourful for people, because once someone gets it, they use the social aspect of gaming. People talk. Oh, have you seen this cool flashy skin I'm wearing? Or oh, I might buy that because I can't get the levels up. And then they start to, because I play a lot of Paladins, and I've noticed this, they reduce how much you can get on the Bree Pass. So if you want anything good skins, you have to pay premium. Or you can buy catch-up passes now to get more of it. So... They're trying every angle they want to make sure you're buying the pass, which I think is completely wrong. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just you know what it is? more paid it's, stuff to the free. It's it's clever marketing. It's stupid marketing and evil. I've never paid for a battle pass yet. I, I agree yeah, with you, it's clever, but what what do you think about the NBA though, bringing in like the slots machine in a in a in a basketball game? Is that smart that's marketing? Awful. Is no, that that's smart? stupid. Yeah, it's stupid, but the whole game is um, isn't just playing uh, the game on the field, right? So you are a player. You need to sign deals with uh, um, yeah, yeah, uh, um, shoe companies or whatever. Um, I can imagine that a, a rich baller um, goes to a casino to get some stuff. I, I I can't imagine that, but it's wrong to market that that way that they can earn money on. Should I give you some of the gaming uh, community's thoughts on that, on the NBA uh, thing? So they put uh, an advert on YouTube um, to publish that they're putting this in the game. And the comments underneath were, is this a video for a gambling site or is it a video for a game? The likes were, um, I think it was something like 11,000 likes to 40,000 dislikes. So it's got a massive dislike to it. Um, and then someone put a, uh, a clip of the GTA 5 gambling next to the NBA gambling. And the GTA 5 focuses not on the gambling at all. It focuses on the storyline and the players with the gambling in the background, which is how it's supposed to be. Whereas the NBA, considering it's basketball, focused literally on slots it looked like a, an advert i see on the tv downstairs <laughs> but i i just feel like what, what the nba game is trying to do here is that they're not trying to be smart marketing they're trying to grab as much money as they can before it's completely banned from games because it there's a possibility by next year it will be banned from all games you think they drain it oh yeah it will either it will either be uh, the loot boxes would be completely taken out of games, or they have to be completely see-through so the so players know what they're going to get out of them. You know what a worst thing would be if uh, if it um, if they make it this way that um, each country can choose what they want. Yeah, Is that that that, would, that wouldn't be fair. Um, but hold on, I'm just thinking though. Do you know, like, right here we go. Do you know when you collect, um, you get them sticker books? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You collect cards for them. How much money mm -hmm. in the past? I mean, that used to happen when I was a kid. You used to get football book, football sticker books. Yeah, yeah you'd pay like 50p a pack. You don't know what you're getting in them, but no. you'd still buy them, and you could get the same cards over them. I mean, no also one complained then, to be honest, did they? 
Yep. So, uh, yeah. I still do it today. Uh, I do, yes. But you could I... swap. You could swap cards, couldn't you? You could go to school and like. Um, I agree, you know... but I, I feel like money was a bit more contained back then. That yeah, was more yeah, of yeah. you go to your dad. Oh, can I have a pound to buy some sticker cards? No, you got. Uh, you, right. you can get some next week or something. Now it's but... oh, I'm gonna grab my dad's credit card. I'm gonna pull it in All on right. this game and. It's yeah. It's it's kind yeah. of it's 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 the access to it's too easy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I mean, yeah. when you yeah. were younger, did you, like, you had that kind of thought, or that mentality of money didn't really grow on trees. It, like, obviously your parents worked hard. I feel I like was to... I was mental. <laughs> I feel like today it's just, like, kids really do feel like we just have money pouring into our pockets every week. And it, they, don't it's... Class, they, do, they, don't, they don't class money as money that we, you've got to go to work for. Because yeah. when we, oh, when we were kids... Who had a who had a paper round? Who had a milk round? I, I used, yeah, I used to get up at half four in the morning and do my paper round and go for school for eight yeah. o'clock. You know what I mean? It's like it's like today a hundred pounds not a lot of money. So it's like for kids, it's like yeah. hundred pounds is nothing. I don't mind spending a hundred pounds yeah. on on a Fortnite game, but right? yeah. I think it's social yeah, status it's... as well. Definitely. Yeah. Cause... Yeah, it's definitely peer pressure. When when I was growing up, with all these like stickers like Yu Gi Oh and Pokemon cards you could collect, no one really bothered if you did or you didn't. But I've seen kids around my area. If you haven't got an iPhone X, you're not part of the crowd. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, so if this kid's like, "Oh, have you got the battle pass for Fortnite?" Oh, no, I didn't fancy buying it. Oh, we don't want to play with you tonight. Mm. You know what I mean? It's that's our mentality. I see every I see kids at nursery five years old talking about getting the battle pass. Yeah, just because the friends. No one to play with me. Either. <laughs> Fortnite, no. I think they should just make it, make it how Assassin's Creed makes loot boxes, and it sounds stupid, but the loot system in Assassin's Creed for paid items, you can get every paid item for free once a day by doing a quest. So the same stuff you can spend money on, you can get exactly for free. And yeah. I know that's true because I got a horse in Origins that's worth three pound for free mm. by doing a five minute quest. That made it fair. You could get something yeah. paid, or you can do it for free. It was a fair system. Yeah, and that I think sounds good. That's a fair system to do it. And that way people can't complain. I play so many mobile games where it's more pay to progress quicker than pay to win. So if you want this legendary horse, you can get it if you work for it. Or you can just take the cheat and pay for it. At least you know you're getting the same item for free. Yeah. I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah. I think people yeah. are fooled in as well. Like if they get certain stuff, they'll play better. But it's not the not the case. Yeah. Yeah. Play to win stuff. Um, it doesn't help. There's loads of videos like because obviously Fortnite skins and stuff like that. They're not pay to win. They're just cosmetic. But then you get YouTube videos of uh, YouTubers going, oh, this is totally a pay-to-win skin because you can blend in with the background, you can blend in with the... The people go, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that because it's pay-to-win. Um, but what they don't realise is these YouTubers are actually really good players themselves and it only works for them because then they can go on the rest of the game actually being good and making it work. And it's not really... paid off the developers and I'll have to see it as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More than likely. Um, Welcome in the modern world. But we've uh, we've got a couple questions yeah, from uh, tonight, we? a couple yeah. questions from some members. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. what job boy? So Saki comes in and says, uh, "What are your thoughts on the success we are having in the WoW Classic?" Boo! <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I I think it's really cool that we have uh, um this big amount of people coming in uh, within a new game yep. for us. Um, so yeah, it's a big win. I'm happy with that. Uh, I, I think we should ban it. Um, completely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I, I agree with Shady. It's, um, it's a big win for our group. Um, yeah. We've had so many members join um, and come together and play. Uh, and I think it's fantastic. Um, Big props to Josh and Saki for for doing a wonderful job. Yep. They've done great. Yeah, I believe I have played that game um, 
somewhere around 15, 16, maybe yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. I don't know. Um, is it good? I don't know. I mean, I was watching Sarkis' I think it's quite good stream, success. And it looked, a, it looked a lot like um, RuneScape to me. Mm, um, we did it as well. It's kind of, it just seems like more of like a simulator, like you mine and, and you kind of like level up your mining. You chop down a tree, you level up. And then like you can go and do raid, uh, raids with like uh, a group of people. But these are like a big raid, so like 20, 30, 40 people raids. Jeez. Um, I mean, I, just like Knight said earlier, I think it's more of a nostalgia thing. Uh, it's going back, it's not, it's not those high tech graphics or anything. It's like, Pixel kind of, um, yeah. Kind of game. That's popular. It's like I, s- yeah, it's like exactly. I said to um, Saki when it was released, it just shows that games don't need to always remaster and remake. They can give us the old game that we used to love and play back then, yes. and people are still going to love it. So it's not always about making it big and bright to these graphics. Just give us what we used to play, and we're still going to love it. You know how popular it is because WoW on uh, on Twitch uh, had a million viewers in the first couple of days, and that's a lot of viewers on one game. Um, For sure. So, I mean, especially in the first couple of days, that's crazy. Um, and it's and it's had over a million people sign up to play. Wow. So that's and then you really, have to really wait six good. hours to. You. Exactly. <laughs> You've only got to wait a minimum of six hours to play, so you know. Um, it's epic. Wow. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> I would be, if I was waiting that long, I would be saying, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Um, what games are we thinking of getting more members in on console? What, say, that, say that again. What games are we thinking of getting more members in on console? The rec- um, recruiting members for a game on console. Call of Duty, you want uh, the yep, Modern Warfare? Yeah, Modern Warfare. Yes. One sure down. <laughs> if, you, if you can get some people in, why not? Maybe we can uh, see if uh, Subnautica can do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, me, me and Saki spoke before about trying to get some more survival games mm-hmm. um, in, cool the, in the PC who's, area. Who's, uh, who's playing Subnautica? JD's just what, brought it. I on, played it. Hold on. Uh, PS4. Oh, got it for the PC. Really good game. Uh, really I, uh, good game. Maybe a, a good news to some of you, though. Um, I believe I'm getting a new PC very soon. Ooh! Wait, are you building it yourself? Oh, sorry about that. Wow. Are you? <laughs> are you? Pardon, pardon you. <laughs> are you building it yourself, or are you getting someone else to build no, it? No, um, I got a. Uh, Older one from my uh, from my dad. Uh, he's only using a laptop for some uh, text writing stuff or certain. Yeah. Um, Go on, Connor. What are you using? Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one sec. They kind of heard you say that. I I thought that was Neville. <laughs> no, she's playing a Detroit Become no, Human. <laughs> oh dear. Well, Destiny um, 2 is what I'm progressing to get more members in. Just because of the new light, meaning more players will join it for free. And if more players will join it for free, why not let them come join and have a bit of a laugh? Why not? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Um, or Borderlands 3, because everyone loves a bit of Borderlands. I, I think, apart, apart from what you mentioned, the only other games really is whatever our members want to want to what that play, really. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's hard to just say a game without knowing if we have a member base for it. You know, the whole the difficult thing is you can set up all channels and, and maintain it. Yeah. Set people on it to watch and uh, monitor it. Uh, but if it's a oh. game that's only plays by two or three people in the community, agreed, agreed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Are you talking to me? Nice, no, Detroit. 
<laughs> I, d I, I always thought, what if we had like a little channel called Test Channel, where if someone wants like to play Rainbow Six, they can have a little channel for themselves for about a month, and if it booms, you know, we can give them a big category. If it doesn't, then we could change it next month. The whole then people thing always get a taste. We've seen it, I think quite a few times though. If if there is a new game, or we think, oh, um, let's try, um, uh, for example, Rainbow Six. Uh, we set up a channel. Uh, only two people requested it, and they just gonna play the game together. That's all fine, but you don't need channels for that. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna recruit for a game, if you if we can have a bigger player base on it, then it's yeah. worth, I guess, to. Uh, if we're gonna recruit for it. If we're going to recruit for a game, we need to have something in place for them to come into. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think, Adam, I think we should definitely try and recruit for uh, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's get our Call of Duty back up. And Hunt Showdown. And Hunt Showdown. <laughs> yeah, Neville, if you want to do that, it's, of course. It's fun. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll have a look at it, aye. There's just, there's loads. Of, even the community for Hunt Showdown is um, they're really helpful. I've, Met no one. They're all really nice people as well. So there's no. Let's see if they all want to join. I will. I'll have a look. I'll have. Um, I'll have a look this weekend. Cool. So. Uh, Night of Madness asks, simple. "Would you rather be an elephant or be a mouse?" <laughs> Who asked that? This Me? fellow up here. Why not? He's wanted a question. Elephant Who's or a mouse? Who's shady? No, 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 no. Night. Um, yeah, well, no, who, asked, who asked the question? Who asked the question? Yeah, night, night. I you did, the, I posted you asked it. The question, you're questioning for yourself. <laughs> no, Pretty I posted much. it because I, I, was, I was meant to post it earlier, but I posted it later, and then I, I kind of realized there's a podcast going on. I was like, ah, you can just go into the podcast, it'd be fun. Uh... So, Shady, what would you rather be, elephant or mouse? Mouse, world's is much bigger than. <laughs> Uh, Neville? Elephant. Why? Because I can stand on the mice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, night? Uh, mouse. I like cheese. So oh, elephants. I bet yeah. fly. I bet and fly. They've got big ears like Dumbo. You know, mice doesn't don't actually eat cheese. Well, this mouse would. <laughs> they, they eat kebab. <laughs> uh, I, I would go with Shady on this. I, I would be a mouse. Um, uh, be small, you could run about and hide in little places. Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Moosey Alien says, Is my montage getting a shout out? Um, no. <laughs> what montage? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, last time we uploaded a, a, a podcast, he uploaded a montage the day after. Oh um, yeah. Um, Has it still not been sorted? That. What do you mean? Well, did he not ask the last podcast? No, he put it on the comments underneath. Did he? Of the podcast, because he uploaded he uploaded his uh, montage the day after we uploaded our uh, our podcast. Right. Um. So I I said to him, uh, "You're a bit too late for the for the podcast." Okay, I've got a question question for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. If you had the choice to live as an animal, any type of animal, for <clears> one day, what would it be and why? Good question. White eagle. Ooh. White eagle. Why? I can fly and I'm big. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say a buzzard. I saw a seagull today and it couldn't fly because its wing was broken. So what if your wings break? Then I'm fucked having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What about you, Knight? Uh, I would want to be a pigeon because there's so many people I just want to shit on and shit on the car. <laughs> sure. Why not? In Britain, pigeon shit on everything, so why not join in? <laughs> uh, never. what would you do? I would want to be, do you know, them um, fish that live really deep in the ocean, but they're like they've got little light bulbs sticking out their head. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd want to be one of them. Why not? 
Why? Just cuss. <laughs> okay, I mean, just cause swimming I in the it. ocean, why not? It would be nice. Yeah. It'd be peaceful. In the, in the dark. It's like, it's like have, you, have you heard of them fish that like, are invisible? Yeah. And you can't see them. They're there, but you can't see them. What's the point? What's yeah. the point of existing if, you, if they can't see them? They'll go no, up to exactly. another fish that you can't see, and they'll be like, we well, can't even see you, so what's the point of me existing? Yeah. Is there an underneath layer that you want to tell us? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Not on the podcast anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that leaves one person because he's had a lot of time to think. Yeah, Who? You. you? I said a buzzard. Oh, buzzard. did you? Yeah. I thought you'd just tell someone to bugger off. No, 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 no. <laughs> when, when... He's off. <laughs> when Shady said he, he would be an eagle, I said I was going to say a buzzard. A vulture. Buzzard, buzzard's a nice big bird, so... Why not? I could say night being like a monkey or so much, you know, like... Um, with the red asses. <laughs> it would be amazing, <laughs> A baboon. A baboon. That would be too bad. A baboon. Yeah, that would be too bad, bad spending days a baboon. Especially if you're the, 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 the boss of the group. Yeah. yeah. The head yeah, honcho. Big, big red ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm getting worried about Neville. Last podcast he was talking about his um his gun pouch. This podcast he's talking about Knight's Red Ass. I've had a few. <laughs> a few what? Excuses. Cups of milk? <laughs> No water. <laughs> <laughs> Excuses as always. <laughs> oh man! All right, guys. Um, thank you for for watching the podcast. Thank you guys for coming by the podcast and being Hell on yes. this week. Um, if anyone in the hive wants to feature on the the next podcast, do let us know. Uh, feel free to to message me in my DMs, and uh, we'll see who we can get on the podcast. See. What interesting yeah. people we have in our in our game at home. You don't have to be on camera if you think that's off putting. You don't have to be oh. on camera. Or you could or you could cover yourself in a sheet. Like cut the holes out. Exactly. Exactly. But oh, um, I, I thought Knight had, had one ready then. <laughs> <laughs> I have a towel. Just looking for it. This is shit. Um <laughs> so if um <clears throat> if anybody possible. has any um IDs that they'd like to see um, implemented into the podcast because we are looking to, you know, do interesting stuff. Like um, if anybody's got, I don't know, I would like people, I would like members to send us stuff to open. Oh, that would be nice. Like some, some kind of like if you, you know, if you live abroad or something and, you know, I don't know, gifts so we can do it like an open on the, on the but, show. What, you what, know. what address would we have that to? Ooh, we'll have to look into it. But um, we we could you know if you, it could happen and then we could like yeah. I don't know send me some t-shirts I like t-shirts I like um retro t-shirts so <laughs> feel free um v- small size really small size <laughs> extra, <laughs> extra large extra large. <laughs> food no, for me. But, uh, we we talked earlier about this um food thing as in um. Uh, back in Holland, here in Holland, we have some certain foods I believe you don't have, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it would be funny if we um, send it to each other and taste it. On so, so do you yes. sell, do you um, eat things called pepperami? Pepperamis? I don't know. Yeah, what pepperoni. It is. Ah, pepperami or pepperoni. Oh. Pepperamis are nice. I'll have a think. I'll have a think about a few things now. You're, send you're you talking about the. Eat. The long ones in the plastic packaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You used to have them at school. Pa- yeah, when I had a paper round, right, that's when the first start, like, they came out, and um, they were on the, um, next to the till. Yeah. yeah. So when I was getting my papers, like, and putting them in my bag, I kind of, like, knocked one, so it fell in. So I could oh. eat around, you know what I mean? But I thought it was chocolate, didn't I? <laughs> so I, I took one bite and I was like, "What that?" And I spat it out. 
Shady Psych, what's a pepper pot? Right? You just know. I'll, I'll look into this and see what we can do. It's it like a, it's like a kind of like a sausage, like a really long, skinny sausage, but you don't cook it. Right. Okay. That's, that's the best I could describe it. Yeah. It's nice. A long it's, sausage. It's, <laughs> long sausage. It's, it's weird if you are expecting <laughs> sausage. Um. But yeah, thank you guys for coming by. Uh, do leave a, a like. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And, uh, somewhere below. Leave yeah, in the yeah, messages yeah. in the comments. We like reading the comments. You, so do write. If you it. want some more of my uh, amazing jokes, just uh, just give us a thumbs up. And you want to hear more of um, Scott and Neville's jokes? If you got this far in into the podcast, leave some jokes down the bottom that Neville can learn from. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll thank catch you, you guys thank in the next one. Thank you very much, everybody. See you later. See you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.